students how are you all i hope you all are fine today we will continue with the chapter tables and shares till now we have done three parts of this chapter part 1 part 2 and part 3 today we will do part 4 of this chapter we will start our today's work from practice time in 20 page number 127 you will get practice time so let's see the first question nilu bought 15 story books to her class so today 45 students are present how many children will need to share one book okay so the at first we will see the meaning of the question nilu have bought 15 story books to her class but in total there are 45 students in the class so how many children will have to share one book so after reading the question i hope you have understood what we have to do so what we have to do yes we have to do division so of course you have to write statement how we will write the statement you will write in this way total number of students equals to 45 total number of books equals to 15 so number of children will share one book equals to 45 divided by 15 so when you will divide 45 by 15 if you will read the table of 15 you can easily do it 15 threes of 45 that means three students have to share one book or three children have to share one story book okay next we will do the next sum a family of 8 people needs 60 kg wheat for a month so in a family there are 8 people okay and they need 60 kg wheat for a month in one month the family need 60 kg of wheat how much wheat does this family need for a week that we have to find out but before that we have to know that one month equals to four weeks that means in one month there are four weeks so in four weeks amount of wheat needed equals to 60 kg so in one week amount of wheat will be needed equals to what we have to do yes we have to do division 60 divided by 4 okay again i am telling why we are dividing 60 by 4 because in a month there are four weeks and in the question it is asked to find out how much wheat does the family need for a week that's why we are dividing 60 by 4 so when you will divide 60 by 4 let's see what will be our answer 4 ones are 4 2 0 comes down 4 fives are 20 that means in one week the family need 15 kg of wheat okay you got it okay next we will do the next sum rajia wants change for rupees 500 so rajia has a 500 rupee note how many notes will she get if she wants in return all 100 rupee notes suppose rajia wants all 100 rupee notes so how many notes she will get in return of 500 rupees 
what we have to do 500 divided by 100 so 100 fives are 500 that means 500 rupee notes Rajya will get in return so our answer will be 5 next all 50 rupee notes if Rajya wants all 50 rupee notes then how many 50 rupee notes will Rajya get in return of rupees 500 what we have to do yes 500 divided by 50 so when we will divide 500 by 50 let's see what will be our answer 50 ones are 50 zero comes down 50 zeros are zero so answer will be 10 that means 10 50 rupee notes Rajya will get in return of 500 rupee notes. Okay, next. If Rajya wants all 20 rupee notes, what, how many notes Rajya will get? What we have to do? 500 divided by 20. So, when we will divide 500 by 20, what will be our answer? Let's see. 500 divided by 20, 20 to the 40, 10, 0 comes down, it becomes 100, 25 is 100. So how many 20 rupee notes Rajya will get? 25. So 25 number of 20 rupee notes Rajya will get in return of 500 rupee notes. Okay. Next. All 5 rupee notes. Okay. If Rajya wants all 5 rupee notes. So how many 5 rupee notes Rajya will get that we have to find out. So what we have to do? Yes. We have to divide 500 by 5. So, what will be our answer? 100. So, that means Rajya will get 100 number of 500 rupee, sorry, 5 rupee notes to get 500. Okay? Next. You have to distribute 72 tomatoes equally in 3 baskets. So how many tomatoes will there be in each? So, you have three baskets okay and total number of tomatoes are 72 so how many tomatoes will be in each basket so that you can divide uh, 72 tomatoes equally so what we have to do yes we have to do division 72 divided by 3. So, let's see what will be our answer. 3, 2, 0, 6. 1, 2 comes down. 3, 4, 0, 12. That means 24 number of tomatoes will be in each basket. Okay, one more thing. Here I am not writing statement, but make sure you will write the statement. I hope you can write the statement alone. Next sum. There are 350 bricks in a hand cut. Okay, in a hand cut, there are 350 number of bricks. Okay, so... Be not found the weight of a brick is 2 kg. So, weight of a brick is 2 kg. So, what will be the weight of all the bricks? So, in total, how many bricks are there? 350. So, if weight of one brick is 2 kg, what will be the weight of 350 bricks? What we have to do? Yes, multiplication. So, 350 multiplied by 2. 2 zeros are 0, 5 twos are 10, 1 
carry three to the six plus one seven. That means seven hundred kg. So weight of three fifty bricks will be seven hundred kg. Okay. I hope you have understood the five sums. Next, we will go to the next page. Children and their grandfather. Rashi, Seema, and Mridul, Rohit, and Lokesh. So, how many are there? Rashi, Seema, Mridul, Rohit, and Lokesh. Five. Ask their grandfather to give them money for the fair. So, grandfather is telling, "I have seventy rupees in my pocket. Tell me how to share money." Equally among all of you, if you are right, you will get this money. So grandfather is telling, okay, I will give. I have seventy rupees in my pocket. I will give you all the money, but you have to tell me how much money will each of you will get. If you will give the right answer, I will give you all the money. Now there are different methods to. Find out the amount of money. One method, Rashi and Seema thought for a while and said, "We know how to do seventy divided by five. Why seventy divided by five? Because total money is seventy-five, and total number of children are five. That's why seventy divided by five. Now let's see how they are dividing the money." They have written here seventy. Then they are dividing it by five. Five tens of fifty, and twenty comes down. So they are telling first I give rupees ten to each one of us. So I have distributed fifty rupees. Twenty rupees are still left. So they are dividing it in this way. Then Rashi completes it like this. He says I give four rupees more to each. So I have divided, distributed twenty rupees. So now nothing is left, and all the money is divided equally. So each will get ten plus four, four that is fourteen rupees. Okay. So how they are doing it? I am showing you one more time. What they are doing? At first they are telling seventy divided by five. So they are they are doing the division in this way. They are telling ten five five tens of fifty. That means twenty is the remainder, and each child will get ten rupee, and twenty rupee will remain. But then Rashi is telling, no, we can also divide the twenty remaining money. How we will divide? Five four is the twenty, so we will add here four. And twenty will be distributed. That means each children will get ten plus four. That is fourteen rupees. Okay, so they are doing the division in this way. Next, another method is that Mridul and Lokesh are trying seventy divide five in a different way. So. They are doing the same thing, seventy divide five, but they are doing it in different ways. How they are doing it? At first, they are telling five fives are twenty five. So that means each student will get five rupees. Then seventy minus five, that is forty five. So forty five rupees is still remaining. Then five six are thirty. So forty five minus thirty, how much is remaining? Forty minus thirty. Forty-five minus thirty, that is fifteen rupees. But again, they can distribute this fifteen rupees, right? How much money will get? Five threes are fifteen. That means so each will again get three rupees. So five plus six plus three again fourteen rupees. So whatever the ways it is, each time the answer will be same. Okay, they are dividing it in different ways, but their answer at last is coming same. Okay, so in this way, you have to divide this. All try doing this. You have to do the division in different ways in your math copy. Next, 
Mira made two hundred and four candles to sell in the market. She makes packets of six. So how many packets will she make? So Mira has two hundred and four candles total. So total Mira makes how many candles? Two hundred and four. Now you know the candles are always sold in a packet. So Mira is making packets of six. Packets of six means in one packet Mira is putting six candles. So how many packets will she make to put two hundred and four candles? What we have to do? Yes, we have to do division. Two hundred and four divided by six. Okay. So six ones are six. Six twos are twelve. Six threes are eighteen. So twenty minus eighteen. That is two. Four comes down. Twenty-four. Next six ones are six. Six twos are twelve. Six threes are eighteen. Six fours are twenty-four. So that means Mira will have to make thirty-four packets to put total two hundred and four candles. Okay, I hope you have understood. Next, there is another part here. If she packs them in a packet of twelve, now Mira is making a bigger packet where she is packing twelve candles at a time. So if she will pack. Twelve candles at a time. Then how many packets will she make? That we have that we have to find out. Oh, okay. so two hundred and four divided by twelve. So let's do it. Two hundred and four divided by twelve. Twelve ones are twelve. Twenty minus twelve, that is eight. Four comes down. So twelve. How much? Twenty-four. Sorry, eighty-four. Twelve sevens are eighty-four. Okay, that means seventeen packets. Mira have to make if she packs them in a packets of twelve. Okay. Next, we will do the next sum. On sports day, one sixty one children are in the school playground. In the school playground, there are one sixty one children. They are standing in seven equal rows. Total, there are one sixty one children, and they are standing in one uh, seven equal rows. So, how many children are there in each row? That we have to find out. What we have to do? Yes, we have to do division. One sixty one divided by seven. Seven ones are seven. Seven twos are fourteen. So, two comes down here. One comes down. Seven threes are twenty one. That means. In each row, there will be twenty-three children. Okay, so if there are one sixty-one children in the total, and they are standing in seven equal rows, so in each row there will be twenty-three children. Okay, next story problems is there. Srishti's grandmother is asking her to make problems. Here, answer is given, and you have to make question with that. Okay, here one, two, three. All these three have questions, and you have to uh, answers are given, and you have to make questions on the basis of that. So, this was the last part of the chapter. Now you will get extra sums based on the chapter in the next video, and wherever you will find any problem, you will comment back in the comment. portion and i hope you will practice all the sums at home thank you